एवरीवन इट्स कृतिका वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल गुड इन मॉर्गन फ्रॉम जर्मनी आई एम इन दिस ब्यूटिफुल लिटिल टाउन कॉल टिटी से सो इन द लास्ट ब्लॉग यू सॉ मी गेट टू फ्राईबर्ग एंड टुडे मॉर्निंग वी टू का ट्रेन फ्रॉम फ्राईबर्ग टू टिटी से वी गोना टेक अ बस फ्रॉम हियर टू फेल्टबर्ग एंड वी आर गोना बी गोइंग स्नो बोर्डिंग सो आई एम योर विद माई फ्रेंड गेट इन प्रीति सो वी वेंट टू हाई स्कूल टूगेदर एंड इट्स बोथ आर फर्स्ट टाइम स्नो बोर्डिंग हाउ डू यू फील अबाउट इट I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited too. I feel like I've never really indulged in any winter sports, so this is yeah. probably my first time like trying something out. So very excited for it. Let's see how we fare. But first things first, we're going to go get some breakfast. So for breakfast I've gotten myself this sandwich I think it's a sandwich some coffee we've gotten like a donut as well pretty sure it's not called a donut here this is called a berliner a berliner okay so, so not a donut <laughs> what it, is it like a donut um it's it's like a bun with filling so that's so not that okay uh everything here is actually in german so preeti speaks a bit of german she's learning <laughs> You manage fine, like <laughs> yeah. I just don't get it on, but that's such a huge lie. But yeah. <laughs> okay, Preeti is learning German. I'm also learning German. By the way, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> this cafe is super cute. This town is super cute. So on our way back, we're actually gonna stop here and probably check out a bit of the town as well. Uh, but yeah, it just looks so dreamy and like I'm inside a fairy tale. So the joke is, um, so when John F. Kennedy came in, like then when there was like the East. Uh, Berlin and West oh, yeah, Berlin yeah. split. Uh, he wanted to connect with people, so mm -hmm. he made an attempt, and he was like, "Ich bin Berliner," which also translates to "I am a Berliner." But uh, oh, but then he's done. <laughs> <laughs> mm. That's fun. <laughs> Tomorrow, closing in this fast. Oh, I guess time's in a rush. Leaves are falling down, but at least they grow back. While I'm on a one-way track, now I know. So we made it to Feldberg. Uh, we're in this place called Grafenmart, and we have booked a one-hour, like, lesson of snowboarding. So they're going to basically teach us. Today is a very cold day, but the sun is out, so it looks really nice. And yeah, we're just going to go inside and see what the deal is. What it means. So we got all our snowboard gear, which is basically like a helmet, the snowboard, some uh, shoes. It was quite an effort to put these shoes on, honestly. Uh, but we've got like a couple of hours now before our lesson, so I think we're just gonna walk around, check out what there is to do here. This place honestly looks like I'm inside a postcard. I'm kind of just looking at everyone skiing and snowboarding and exci getting excited for my lesson. But I have to say, it's a struggle to walk in these snow boots. I'm literally walking like a penguin. <laughs> it always helps to know a bit of the local language so like i mentioned i've been learning german it's been a couple of months since my trip to germany and since then i feel like i've made some decent progress i've been learning on this platform called lingoda who i'm very happy to be partnering with for this video lingoda is an online language school and they teach german english business english french and spanish i've kind of attempted to learn a bunch of languages uh, over the last couple of years but if i'm being honest i haven't really made much progress but what i really love about lingoda is that the classes happen live on zoom and are conducted Conducted by native level teachers, there are a maximum of five students in each class, uh, and the sessions are very interactive. So you're made to actually talk in German in class, and you're given feedback on your pronunciation or any other mistakes you make while talking. Hello, guten Tag. Ich heiße Kritika. Ich komme aus Indien und wohne in einer Stadt uh, namens Bellor in Indien. Ich bin 29 Jahre alt. Also when you're learning a language, I feel like grammar is one of the hardest things to learn, so it really helps to have someone answer all your queries live. It also really helps to have other people in the class who are at a similar level as you are learning along with you. 
Another thing that's great about Lingoda is that they have teachers from all over the world, which means that they have classes 24-7, which is perfect for me with all the traveling that I do. I can just schedule a class for whatever time works for me, no matter where in the world I am. Right now, Lingoda has this really awesome sprint challenge going on, where if you attend a class every single day for 60 days, you get a 100% cash back. And if you attend a class every second day, you get a 50% cash back. I feel like these sprint challenges are such a great way to stay consistent and build momentum on your language learning journey. Journey and I have personally been enjoying them so much. I feel like it's become such a fun part of my routine and I really look forward to these classes. So if you're looking to learn a language, then click the link below for more information and use my code Pratika May for 20 euros or $25 off your deposit. And I hope to see you in one of the group classes. So all set for our lesson. I don't know how much I'm going to be able to vlog during the lesson, but let's hope, um, let's hope I don't fall too many times. Like that's my goal. And yeah, I'm excited for this. Are you excited? Very excited and nervous. Yeah, same. Waiting for our instructor. Let's see how this goes. Sometimes I understand I'm making all the wrong demands in life. It never pays in the end. But still I am here, moving on like before. So, so far we've just learned the basics. I've only fallen once, so I think that's good. But now the real thing starts. actually a lot of fun but not as easy as it looks it honestly doesn't even look easy uh, but it's way harder than it looks Okay, so we just got done with our lesson. Uh, what was your experience like? <laughs> I think it was fun, but a little scary too, but definitely fun. What did you think? Yeah, same for me. Like, I mean, at first, I couldn't even stand up. Like, it was that difficult. But at least I can stand now. I didn't fall as much as I thought I would, so it was fun. But I feel like maybe we need like a longer lesson to actually learn. So we've learned like some basics. So yeah, I think we're just going to be practicing on our own. We have like the gear and stuff till 5 p.m. I don't think we'll be able to like last that long, but it's quite uh, strenuous because each time you have to take the board off, go back up, wear it, come back down. So yeah, it was really fun. I had such a good time. I'm so glad we did this. You don't need no card trick. You don't need no sleight of hand. Don't need a rabbit or a hat to help me understand. So we're having lunch, a very well-deserved lunch with the nicest view. Got myself some hot chocolate, uh, pizza, fries. Very excited for this meal. It just comes so natural. You don't even have to try. When we touch the fairy dust. Okay, let me go. Let me see. What else? Okay, no, don't let no, me no. go. <laughs> So Kiki, how are you feeling now? That was so hard. I feel like tomorrow I'm gonna wake up with like pains and very random muscles of my body. I think like a lot of my muscles that I've never used have been used up. But we're going to a thermal <laughs> bath so it's all good. In your smile, you didn't cast a spell. Now you didn't wave a wand. Now you just said so we're done snowboarding and that was so much fun. I think according to Preeti, I was good. <laughs> yes, she, she definitely was good for the first time. This was Preeti's second time. Preeti, I thought, was really good. I was very impressed. <laughs> I, on the other hand, barely managed to like get up on my own and stuff. But yeah, I'll take that compliment. Like I'd like to believe what Preeti said, that I'm good for my first time. 
But anyway, our plan was actually to go from Feldberg to Titi Say and explore Titi Say. Uh, we got on the bus, got our tickets and stuff. We sat on the bus for like a good 15 minutes and then realized we're going in the other direction. So right now we're in this like really cute looking town actually called Zell, I think. And uh, we have to figure out how to get to Titi Say now. I think there's another bus. Also, I thought I'll quickly tell you guys how much we paid for all of this. So the snowboarding along with the equipment that we rented uh, and the lesson, I think we paid around like 55, 60 euros per oh, person, yeah. which I thought was quite affordable actually. And then my train ticket was included in my Urail pass and the bus was like two and a half euros one way, so five euros. Now probably more because we like took the wrong bus. Uh, and also I wanted to buy ski pants. I was looking for ski pants yesterday. They were so expensive in Freiburg and even here. So I don't know, I just borrowed Preeti's ski pants. Um, I guess they're cheaper online if you want to buy them. But yeah, this town is so cute. Like there's a canal here, look at that. Finally on the right bus. So we've made it to Titi Se finally after that bit of a detour. But yeah, Preeti, tell us a bit about Titi Se. She's been here like three times before, I think. Uh, two, two times, times before. So this is my yeah, third time. Tell us a bit about this place. Yeah. From what I've heard and read, um, Se in German means lake. Mm -hmm. And this was apparently about 10,000 years back, a place where the Roman soldiers were stationed after every war. Mm -hmm. So people assume that this place was probably named after the Roman Emperor Titus. So Titus, ah, Titi so Chidi Se, Titus's lake. So anyway, there's a lake here, like <laughs> the name of this place suggests. So we're just walking up to the lake and then we'll walk around the town. Everything looks so cute here and it's really nice because there's snow, so it looks super magical. Another cool thing about this place, this whole Black Forest region, is that it's famous for its cuckoo clocks. This is where they come from, right? Yeah, the Black Forest region. So that's the lake and as you can see, it's completely frozen but it looks so beautiful. So apparently this place is actually quite popular among uh, Indian tourists. So I'm guessing that's why there's this ATM sign in Hindi. But yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Good morning everyone. So today is my last day in Freiburg. I'm heading back to Zurich later in the evening. But right now I'm at the bus stop and we are heading to this thermal bath. It's called the Keidel Thermal Bath and after yesterday I could really use a thermal bath. So I'm very excited about this. Got myself some coffee, just waiting for our bus now. So exciting day ahead. Maybe I never knew what I really wanted. But looking back I can see it's all clear. So we've made it to Kaidal and this place is literally like in the middle of some kind of forest. It's so green. The only time I've been to a thermal bath, I think twice, was in Iceland. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to check this out, see what it's like. It looks so beautiful. It looks massive. So I'm excited to see what it's like from inside. But nothing makes sense anymore. spend the last I think three or four hours in the thermal bath uh, just grabbing some lunch right now and we're gonna get back into the bath and this has been so insanely relaxing like I don't know if you can tell I think my face is like literally glowing I feel so zen and peaceful right now and after yesterday we also booked a massage by the way so we got like a 30 minute massage and oh my god I'm just like so 
relaxed right now. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't really film much because in a lot of sections here, you're not allowed to film. But I have been having the most amazing and relaxing time. So they've got like an outdoor section, an indoor section with like different temperatures. So depending on what you want to do, you can do that. They've also got sauna if you pay a little extra. And I thought this whole place was quite affordable. So we paid like 16 and a half euros, right, per person. And you can spend the entire day at the thermal baths. And then the massage is extra. It was like 30 euros, but totally worth it. I'm super hungry now. Got some pizza, some fries, some coffee. Excited for this meal and excited to go back into the water. So this thing that I called pizza is so delicious. It's not exactly pizza. What's it called? Flam kuchen. Flam kuchen, and it is so delicious. Oh my god. God, so like the paneer from the pizza fell into my coffee. There it is. I'm gonna try some like cappuccino flavored paneer. That's really disgusting combination. <laughs> Do not recommend it. <laughs> Just got done at Tidal and oh my god, I'm so glad we did this because I feel so relaxed right now. This was amazing. Sadly, I'm heading back to Zurich, so I have to say bye to Freiburg and Germany. I had such a good time and bye to Preeti, who did who was so nice meeting after so long. I hope we get to meet and hang out again soon. Thank you so much for showing me around. No, I'll miss you. <laughs> I'll miss you too. And yeah, Freiburg was amazing and hopefully in the summer or some other time I can actually come and explore Germany. I would love that. By then hopefully I'll speak uh, a bit of German as well. We'll see how that goes. Heading back to Zurich today and the next couple of weeks, next 10 days or so, I think I'm exploring Switzerland. So that should be fun. I think I should uh, <laughs> speak in German. <laughs> Preeti, <laughs> say something in German. Uh, I think I'd just say schönen Tag and tschüss. Tschüss. <laughs> uh, what do I say? Yeah, Freiburg is wunderbar. <laughs> ich liebe Freiburg und uh, ich komme Freiburg again. <laughs> I hope I come to Freiburg again. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Had so much fun here and I will see you guys next time from another place. Bye. Say bye. Bye. Tschüss. <laughs>